Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another middle of Frankish as hell. This one is from Dornbroy, located in the town Ammerndorf in Middle Franken, and it's the Ammerndorfer Hell. Um, this brew is also called Ammerndorfer Beer. Uh, but uh, I believe historically it's called the Dornbroy since Dorn is the family name. Um, at least Historically, I believe that there is another family owning this brewery at the moment while they are choosing the Amaldorfer beer name of the brewery. Anyway, it's a very old brewery, uh, which I'm gonna speak more about the history of it later on in the video, but it comes in this Euro, Euro bottle shape as you can see, uh, which is a very traditional bottle shape for uh, small brewers like this in the region. I can show you the top cap also, as I used to do Amaldorfer beer, as it says right here. And I did choose the uh, Amado for Hell to review from this brew. I would actually prefer to choose the Special, but I don't have the Special from this brew. I have the Dunkel and the Hell, if I remember correctly. So it seems like Hell is a quite good one to uh, to choose. Very normal beer style. So Hell, of course, means pale, so it's a pale lager beer, basically, I believe. Hedus Forbeard, as it say here on the back, so that's quite uh, okay to review that one here on the uh, the channel. Here is the logo of the brewery, Amolo for Hell, as it say right here, and there is top cap, top label, and of course I'm gonna show closer to you the uh, label later on in the video. But first, let's open up the bottle. Privat Brauerei. I'm on the beer and pour it up into the for the very style well fitting glass. I would say I think actually this glass does fit um, a hell for this full beer quite nice. So here we have it. All of it in the glass. Looking nice with this two finger thick white foam crown. Keeping the right taste in the glass. Very important to put up and maintain all the way through. You can see that it's a that will help us for beer with a nice thick white foam crown and pale golden yellow color of it, easy to see through, which means that it's filtered, of course, since it's in the hellest for beer. So let's get the aroma, which is real fresh and nice. This is a great, great aroma of the hellest for beer. Pale, refreshing, and easy, and not as a strong hops taste as it feels, of course, but not as mild as a to build Bavarian Hellas, this is just a Franconian Hellas Forbeer, which is more, more well balanced combined with the malt and the pale malt, com uh, comparing to a um, typical Bayerisches Hell, which is a little bo boring uh, to me because it's so mild in taste. Um, but this is great aroma, so I really bet it's gonna be good. Not as strong as an export, and definitely not as strong as a bot, but. Of course, it's going to be interesting to try it. So, first beer from this brewery. It is full beer. Amaldo full beer. Dornboy. Amaldo. Middelfranken. Post. Yeah, it, um, it tastes, of course, really refreshing and nice. Actually, I would say that it's very mild in taste. Um, I didn't, didn't maybe expect that in the aftertaste, it's quite mild. Um, but of course it's refreshing and it's um, a nice Helles Forbeer. If you're looking for Helles Forbeer, this is a good example of a Franconian Helles Forbeer, in my opinion. I also want to mention that there's two breweries in, uh, in Franconia with the name Dorn. The other one is from Bruckberg and I'm going to review that one in the future, of course. That's always interesting when there's different brewers with the same name, it's uh, important in my opinion to point out which one of them that there is. There is, for example, three Wagner brewers in Franconia and um, I believe that there's four Schwanenboys. But anyway, this is all about um, Amandofer and I uh, can show you closer the uh, label. Here's the logo as you can see and Amandofer has uh, yeah, nice looking label. It says right there, alcohol content 4.6% volume, so very, very low. 
englische Rohstoffe aus fränkischem regionalem Anbau immer noch verhält, ihre private Landbrauerei seit 1730. Aus Tradition privat. So uh, 1730, which makes it quite old, or I would say very old. Um, I could be, we could be a little bit spoiled with how old these German breweries is. 1730. While I'm reading about breweries, they all seem to be around that age. So it doesn't seem like 1730 is so very old, which it actually is, of course, when you think about it. 1730 is very, very old. Yeah, it was a while since I had a house. Um, because it's so easy to drink. And so, um, yeah, just simply mild in taste, not as mild as a Bavarian Hellas still, but still um, very easy to drink, in my opinion. Uh, not my favorite beer style, to be honest. I like a little bit more taste, like a Keller beer or pills or something like that, but still, it's uh, for the beer style a great one, a big recommendation, of course. Now, uh, I'm gonna read from the back label, Amandolfo beer. Schmeckt nach Heimat, fränkisch gut. Helles Vollbier, Zutaten, Wasser, Gersamals, Hopfen, Amandolfo beer, macht Platz. Um, 90614 Amandolf and the telephone number, Amandolfo beer. The E is linked to the, to the brewer's website, which I'll, of course, link to in the description box below as always. So feel free to check that out as well if you're interested. Now, over to some um, books about Franconian brewers, which you might know that I'm having if you've been following my channel before. You can start with this book right here. There's some information about the brewery. And the brewery is looking like this, which is always interesting to show how the brewery is looking, in my opinion. And it looks like a typical Mittelfränkisches brewery, you know, with a wooden house, or actually combined. It has right. It it looks like, but looks very old, of course. So owner is Helmut Murman, Dornboy, Amanofer Beer, Altes Bewahren und Neues Erleben. Beer braucht Heimat. Founded 1730. Beer sollten helles, pils, special malt and land beer dunkel, hefeweise, jubiläumstrunk, lager leicht, kellertrunk, naturtrieb. Seasonal one buck in winter, mild getrunken, hell und plant wird dunkel. Um, and it'll output 9,000 hectoliters. Frau Reigasthof zur Sonne. Yeah. That's the information from that book. But this is a great animal for hell. There is also um, this book right here. A great book. Here you can see Amandolfo beer and all these beers that they're having. 1730 Claudia, Benok Murman, Christina and Helmut Murman. So I took the in the start lesson. Christina Murman and Claudia Benok Murman untersuchen ihren Vater Helmut schon einige Jahre bei der Arbeit in der Traditionsbrauerei. Sie verkörpern die zehnte Familiengeneration, die die Geschichte der schon über 500 Jahre alte Brauerei legen wird. Das historische Gebäude stammt aus der Zeit nach dem 30 jährigen Krieg, der in der Nürnberger Gegend äh, bekanntmaßen heftig wirkte. Die, die, die Biere sind allesamt echte Originale. Man schmeckt einfach, dass hier noch keine große Industrie dahin strickt, sondern noch echte Handwerkstradition gelebt wird. Der Klassiker Amano Hell. So, it's fair to choose the, um, this one, help for this review. Some information from this first website also. Good beer takes time. We give a wonderful beer its time. After a careful brewing process with the brew house, our young beer matures for several weeks in cold storage cellar in order to develop their unique taste in increasingly fast-paced time. This pulse is particularly important for us and the quality of our beers, and you can taste it. It's of course real great. Yeah, that's it for now. 
that the Dawn boy Amandov of Hell from Amandov Middle Frankel. Hope you like my reviews and see you again in next Franconia Bear video.